first we're going to start with applying our lip balm. This is Burt's Bees Rejuvenating. This lip balm tastes so good. Next I'm going to apply tape to the ends of my eyes so we can get a sharp and precise eye look. Make sure you take off the stickiness before you place it on because it will hurt your skin. Now I'm going in with Max Painterly Paint Pot on my crown brush. I love this brush to apply this paint pot because it just distributes it and blends it both in one which is really really great. Now for our eyes, we're going to be going in with our eyes are the Window Mind Palette by Stila. The first color we're going to be applying to our crease is our transition color which is called Wit. This is a beautiful skin tone color that we're going to just blend nicely into our crease, not being precise at all. Now we're going to go in with Intellect and we're going to also blend this into our crease as well on top of Wit. Now we're going to go in with Understanding onto our same fluffy blush and we're just going to place this on the outer third of our V and just pressing it in circular motions and blending it right there. We're not moving this product anywhere else at all. You want to take this time to go back and just blend Understanding, Wit and Intellect all into one big happy family. Now we're going to go in with this big rounded Sephora brush. This is so dense. This is perfect for placing your eyeshadow wherever you want. And this color is called Imagination. Yes, Imagination. It's a dark plum and we're going to place this right over where we placed Understanding. And then we're going to just press and do the same thing. Circular motions and blend, blend, blend. I'm going to also build this color up on my blending brush. I'm not going to use the Sephora brush anymore. I'm just going to build it up and just press it in and blend it onto our outer third of our eye. Now for the Star of our show, we're going to go in with Perception on a flat Sephora brush. And I'm going to place this all over the center of my eyelids. I'm going to pack it on. I'm not sweeping it. As you can see, I'm just packing and building this color up. I'm going to keep going back and forth with this same Sephora brush and then my blending brush. So I'm going to pack, blend, pack, blend, pack, blend until everything looks nice and happily married. Now I'm going to take the same color on my same Sephora brush and run this on the bottom lash line. And then I'm going to go in with Imagination on that brush as well and just run it right over Perception. I almost forgot what the name was. Now I'm going to go in with Max Nylon on this pointy dome brush. And I'm going to apply this to my inner tear duct generously. I'm not going to be selfish with this color at all. I love this color so, so, so much. It just ties the whole entire look together. And it opens your eye. I'm going to apply this to my tear duct as I'm doing right now. And then as well as to my brow bone. And we're going to just blend everything once again. A lot of people don't like applying shimmery colors to your brow bones because it might be a little too much. But once you find the perfect brow bone highlight and a perfect blending brush, everything just becomes okay, you know? It just ties the whole entire look together, like I said. Now we're going to go ahead and blend that up. 
We're going to have to blend our tear duct and then our lash line. Now we're going to remove the tape and then we're going to start on our face. As you can tell, I was being very gentle pulling this off because I forgot to take off the stickiness before I applied it. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my lashes because we're going to be applying the most difficult eyelashes ever. You will hear me talk about it in just a second. So why the eyelash glue dries on my eyelashes, just to let you know, you guys, these eyelashes were so hard for me to put on. The band is so thin and it's not, it's flexible, but it's to the point where it's so stiff and it doesn't curve to like an actual eye. Um, I don't really like them, but they are beautiful, but the application is horrible. Oh my God. And I'm so good with lashes, but these were just so hard for me to put on. But they're so beautiful and wispy. And so soft. Oh my god. You see like, no, that's not happening. Like they're just so sensitive and they just flick anyway. So now I'm going to start with my face. I'm going to apply my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm going to be applying that with this Finishing Concealer Brush by Sephora. It's a duo fiber brush. I find this much easier to apply rather than my fingers because it's, it just, I don't know, it picks up the right amount of product and it just distributes it and covers each pore perfectly. When I use my fingers to apply this product, it sucks. Like, it seriously becomes so ashy. I told you guys that in my monthly favorites. If you haven't watched my January monthly favorites, please go watch it. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And this is the Lumi in W6. I'm going to be applying this on my finishing powder, Sephora brush. And I'll just apply this all over to my face. We're going to blend this out with this stiffling brush. And then I'm going to go in with a powder brush by elf and just blend out all of the harsh lines or streaks that we may have have left left over and <laughs> that was like a mouthful now i'm going to go in with my concealer and we're going to highlight our face underneath our eyes down the bridge of our nose our forehead and our chin and then we're going to blend this out with a crown brush Now we're going to bronze up our face, our cheekbones, around our foreheads, and down the bridges of our nose, as well as our chin and our neck. We're going to apply Benefit Hula Bronzer, and now we're going to go in with Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso. We're going to blend that right into our contour. Now we're going in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm, and we're going to highlight wherever we have apply our concealer before. We're going to apply our highlight very generously all over to our face and blend it out nicely. I'm going to apply my lip liner by Perceptives in Redwood and then I'm going to go ahead and apply Max Ruby Woo and that is it you guys. Come on you guys, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time I'll see you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah.